in this uh, demo. We're trying to show you how a little task program that essentially takes data from the virtual uh, RC controller and how we process it. And we'll show how the same program works under wire connection over here and how it works under Zigbee connection. So as far as CM5 goes, that's the, the two options we have. Okay, let's get to it. So first, let's pop up the manager. Let's go through the wire first. So the wire uh, come 20. Connect. You see that the CM5 has two servo, 116, that's fine. CM5 inside this one have a ZIG100 daughter car and look like that too. It's ID 10578. It's set up to talk to 11091, which is the ID on this daughter card right now. Okay, that will take care of that. Also, so let's disconnect that. Also on COM19, which is this USB, is connected to a uh, USB to dynamic. So here, I will show you how to manage uh, the Zigbee daughter card through uh, this manager. Okay. So hang on a minute. Yeah, let's leave that back. So this one here is COM19. We connect COM19. So in this the connecting here, we go to this icon, which is it to serial management. Got that. And then we'll check out Zigbee setting. So if you click on Zigbee, you can have this notification. So after you click OK, push the reset button. The reset button is this little one right here. OK. So we have three seconds, so we're okay. So click OK. I push on it and release it clean. You see it popped this window now. Right now, you see that the ID of this daughter car, E11091, it's set up to talk to 13336, though. So that's the wrong one. To talk to this daughter car in here, it's supposed to be. 10578. So we go here and set up 10578. Okay. Click modify. You see a change here. It took it. And you can see that broadcast mode and stuff like that. But that's later. But done. So now what I just did is I set up so these two, this daughter car will talk to this CM5 when the time comes, essentially. Okay. So we can close the Zip2 serial management, the manager. We don't need any more, so let's minimize that. So first, let's download this uh, task code through the wire and using it through the wire connection first. So let's just talk to the code a little bit. This is simple endless loop. Essentially, it hangs in here as long as there's no data coming in through a virtual controller or real controller somewhere. And then once it's, uh, so that's a flag as long as it's false. When there's a new data coming in, save that data into the variable called button. If the button is up, and then set the goal position for 1 and 16 to 1023, which means put them down here to the leftmost position. If D button was found out with push, move to zero, which is down here, for both of them. If no button is pushed, that means when you start releasing the button and stuff like that, and then it should go to 512, which is where they are now. Okay. So make sure the control is correct. Firmware version one, CM5, okay. And the wire connection here is COM20. You can check the code, it should be okay. It's downloaded. It found it, download okay. 
you output the program. Pop out the virtual RC. I'm changing the mode to play. And then I put the start button. So you see a little bit of the header start running and stuff like that. And then up. Up. So in this example here, the trick is to see if you put it away and then you release it. And as soon as it clears it, you know that it's handling, it's clearing the buffer very well. That's the goal. Uh, you can also, I'm using the keyboard up key, up arrow. So uh, keep it release real soon. So this is bouncing around the down. So basically, wiring wire wise is done pretty well. Okay. So let's close that one. That's COM20. So I'm going to stop playing here. And you see, right now I've been pulling through the wire. So I want to do through Zigbee Wireless. So. You have to remember to, I usually I just turn it off to be on the safe side, unplug the wire connection out, put it away, turn it on again. See this flashing? Play with it. So see that if you saw that the uh, LD over here was blinking for a while and then it's solid. When it's solid, it found the match, so they're connecting through it now. So let's see how it works. So hopefully remember this is COM19, CM5, and we can just go through the new output. Click on the virtual controller. So it really goes through COM19. So it really goes through from the uh, PC, it goes to USB here, goes through here, go to the chips, chip wirelessly connect back to the CM5 on this side right now. Let's see if it's working. Okay. So you see, even though it's wireless, 57K, it's still very responsive. As soon as you release it. So you can see Zigbee pretty solid communication for CM5.